see. I see this on the photography boards and questions all the time, and people keep making a mistake. Case of Fuji's case, for example, they make a mistake in their user manual. Now, the default for this camera, whether the, of course, this is an OIS lens, but the default is an IS mode. It used to be called iOS mode 1 or 2, so in the case it's continuous or shooting only. Now, everybody likes a nice stabilized image, like when they're looking through the viewfinder. You know, it stabilizes the image before you take the picture. One thing people don't realize, and this is not an opinion of mine, it's a hardcore fact. And that fact is, is that if you don't need continuous image stabilization, you shouldn't be using it. What does that mean? There's no set parameter, but generally speaking, say 1, 250 of a second and higher. Yeah, your X-T2, that would be OIS mode 2, where uh, stabilization vis-a-vis -vis the lens, since there's no IBIS on the X-T2, is only engaged in the last hair second before the shot is taken, but it is not stabilized as such during the entire time. OIS or VR, doesn't matter what you call it, it's all the same stuff. And this applies to not just not just Fuji film shooters. Sony, Nikon, everybody has this exact same issue. And the camera companies tell you this, but they don't tell it to you explicitly enough. And that is continuous image stabilization can and does induce shake. In other words, you're shooting up there at the higher shutter speeds, right? Should not be using image stabilization. Now, they will tell you that uh, you should use continuous image stabilization for really long telephoto lenses because obviously you're way the hell out there and if your little birdie is jumping all over your viewfinder like this obviously it makes it hard to set the focus point on the little birdie say at 300 or 400 millimeters and you want constant image stabilization that's wonderful so you stabilize it so you could drop the autofocus point on the little birdie for example and take the shot nevertheless outside of that one exception if you're up there in shutter speed, 1 250th of higher, turn off your OIS. Not only is it sucking power, number two, you don't need it, and number three, undeniably so. Quite often, OIS or VR, it causes shake to incur. What it's actually designed to do, to remove shake, it will actually add shake. So many people have actually told me, because OIS, like on their X-T2, default was number one, which means continuous. People were getting blurry images out of like their Fuji 100 or 400 millimeter. And I was like, okay, what was shutter speed were you shooting? Oh, 1 500th of a second, it's nice and sunny outside. Yeah, you're OIS mode 1, right? Yeah, I am. Take that off. Oh my god, all the shots are nice and sharp now. This is the case. And people told me, like, I was going to return this lens until I talked to you about it and everything's fine. That vibration reduction actually can and does cause shake. Well, it's designed to reduce shake. Well, when you're shooting at slower shutter speeds, that's exactly what it does. But at higher shutter speeds, it does quite often just the opposite. Just the opposite. Yeah. Kind of like setting a fire to a kill a fire. But if you just like set a fire, then you're causing fire to, you know, like back burn. You know, the firefighters would set a fire to stop a fire. You're using vibration reduction to stop vibration, but instead of doing that, you're causing vibration to be induced into the shots. Like, your shutter speed is fast up there, 1 250th, 1 500th. You're introducing shake at the last twitch, last, last, micro, last split of a second. You're actually shaking the image, whether that be image stabilization, or lens stabilization, one or the other or both, you're inducing shake because the camera is twitching to freeze the shot, but it didn't need to twitch to freeze the shot because you were already up there at fast shutter speeds. This is something everybody keeps making a mistake on. Um, yeah, it really kind of is that simple. A lot of people are making a mistake on that. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. This video is slightly deadpan. It's deadpan because I'm in excruciating pain for having tripped and tore the skin right off my knee and it like really, really hurts. Yeah, that's, that's not good. 
feels a lot of, yeah, it's pretty painful. Have a nice weekend.